Just the third interchange like this in Minnesota, and the only in the country with light rail transit running through it. It's no doubt this innovation in traffic control is new to many. We haven't had a lot of feedback at this time, but the feedback that we have had has been mixed. Some positive, some negative. Um, from observing the intersection, we can see that a lot of the regular drivers from the taxis to the park and fly and those that go back and forth through here from their lots to the airport, they're maneuvering it very well. And as motorists are first encountering this interchange, navigation education is in order. When motorists enter a diverging diamond interchange, the lanes will cross over to the left side of the roadway at a controlled intersection. This type of interchange design helps eliminate crashes that are typically associated with left turn movements by allowing the left turns onto the freeway to occur without uh, stopping. It also allows left turns to occur without crossing the path of oncoming vehicles. For drivers moving through the interchange without entering the freeway, traffic will eventually shift back to the right side of the road at another controlled intersection. It is estimated that overall, traffic delays will be cut up to 60 percent now that the DDI is operational. Pedestrians and bicyclists, there's a place for you in this design as well. Pedestrians and bicyclists to navigate through the interchange will use the sidewalk on the east side of 34th Avenue. City statutes allow for bicyclists to be on the sidewalk, but bicyclists can, and we have observed bicyclists also using the road uh, facilities to cross through the interchange. The Diverging Diamond Interchange at 34th Avenue and I-494 opened to motorists in late October after being fully closed to commuters for five weeks. Today, the project is substantially done. The items remaining for the contractor include some miscellaneous uh, additions of signing and pavement markings. The contractor will also be working to complete installation of uh, fiber optic uh, cabling and testing of that cable, and then also uh, labeling of wiring, and then the contractor will be back in the spring to finish up with uh, remaining landscaping items. As the city South Loop District continues to grow, this innovation in traffic design will help better meet the needs of the traveling public. But until you're familiar with the DDI, slow down a little bit, follow your pavement markings, follow your signs, follow the signals, and work your way through it. Maybe take the time to drive it a couple times.